So this is just going to be a video mainly focused on the factory airbox on the PX series of Ford Rangers. And I'm specifically going to be talking about the restrictions that they have from the factory. So the 2.2 litre PX Ranger has a factory restrictor that sits here. And from a 4 inch intake, which is at the airbox here, it's just on 100 mil, it actually tapers down to a 2 inch. So it reduces the flow by half the size. In the 3.2 five cylinder, this one comes from a four inch into a two and a half. Keeping in mind that this opening up here that goes to the turbo is approximately 77 mil in diameter, which is three inches. So there's a YouTube channel called Speed Lab and they do a lot of modification and performance work on Ford Rangers. And they've actually proven on their dyno that the Ford Ranger is the only car that benefits from removing the factory airbox and going to a pod filter setup, which I think a lot of it has to do with this factory restriction. We're going to be changing out the stock intake system with a chain and filter, and this is a mass airflow sensor adapter. The Ranger is surprisingly one of the few cars that actually has power when you change out the stock filter box to a cone filter. Every other diesel we've tried, actually lose the power if you change it to a cone filter. So if there's any other shop that's trying to sell you a cone filter for a diesel, they are lying to you and they are stupid and don't know what they're doing. And you're just paying money to basically make your car lose power. So what I've done with my airbox, just to give it that little bit of extra flow, obviously I've removed the, uh, the factory restriction. But another thing I've also done is, if you look in here, you can see that there's only about half the flow of air that can get in there with the factory setup. So I've actually got a Dremel and I've removed this section here, which has therefore opened up that opening quite considerably. By the way, if you run a snorkel and you do a lot of river crossings and water crossings, I do not recommend modifying your airbox. I did mine just simply because I do a lot of just dusty off-road driving general driving so for me if i can pick up a bit of performance and a bit of fuel economy i'm happy with that um so yeah if you do cut it you will have a little bit of an opening along the bottom there so if you've got a snorkel just leave it as it is and or get an aftermarket custom sealed airbox so that's just a quick look of how the intake sits now where it sits about 30 mil off the actual guard itself and not in the actual guard